Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel dedicated to addiction and recovery. I'm happy that you're back. Today we are going to delve into the diverse treatment options available for addiction and how finding the right fit for you can make all the difference in the journey to recovery. Let's go over our options. There's inpatient, where you check into a facility. I think the um, minimum is 30 days. There's outpatient, where you check into a facility daily or, or weekly. There's 12-step programs. Um, when talking about 12-step programs, um, AA comes to mind. Um, Faith-based programs, these are self-explanatory, um, religious type um, situations. Um, medically assisted programs, um, this is when certain medications are used um, to handle withdrawal symptoms and, and cravings um, along with counseling. Um, there's ANR. This is um, where the patient is put under sedation for, I think, four hours, and at that time, their endorphins and um, opioid receptors are re reset and balanced to pre-dependency state. And then there's ibogaine. Um, ibogaine is a plant-based psychoactive substance comparable to tripping on acid. During my daughter's challenging time with addiction, I encountered various treatment options, some of which I'd like to share with you. For instance, I learned about the Ibogaine treatment and, and, and how it facilitated psychological introspection and spiritual exploration. And it just fascinated me. At that time, I had made myself a new friend who had just relocated back to the United States from Mexico. And it just so happened that she had a friend who was a shaman back in Mexico. Shamans are, are people that lead you on your spiritual journeys um, when, when taking Ibogaine or other, other substances that you hallucinate. And he agreed to come to my home and, and help my daughter. And the only thing I had to do was pay his traveling expenses. But at that time, my daughter had been in and out of eight or nine um, rehabilitation centers. And I, I had um, spent all of my savings. So I, I couldn't afford to get him here. But that is how desperate I was to get my daughter back. It, it, it's important to remember that not all options are suitable for everyone. Remember, the path to recovery starts with the, the desire 
to change and, and, and to improve one's life. And that comes from within the individual who is struggling with addiction. It's important to support your, your loved one and, and provide resources, but ultimately they must take that first step on their journey to recovery. In, in conclusion, exploring treatment options is essential, but finding the right fit, it may require professional guidance and, and personal introspection. If you or someone you care about is struggling with addiction, seek professional advice, stay patient, and offer unwavering support. Together, let's foster hope and healing. Until next time, stay strong, and, and don't you ever, don't ever give up.